morning, church. Good morning. Uh, I'm Pastor Domingo, the lead pastor of this uh, church. Uh, welcome to United Methodist, uh, Norwood United Methodist Church. Uh, my friends, if uh, you are new, let us know so that we welcome you uh, properly. Um, for those who are watching us uh, live, Right now, uh, we welcome and welcome you to Norwood United Methodist Church, and uh, thank you for stopping by and then worship with us today. Um, se estiveres em Angola ou oh, Brasil, Portugal, Moçambique, Cabo Verde, Guiné-Bissau, qualquer parte do mundo onde estiveres e estiveres a nos acompanhar, o nosso muito obrigado por. Uh, uh, teres esse momento conosco e assistir o culto conosco aqui na Igreja Metodista Unida de Norwood. Muito obrigado por uh, uh, estar aqui conosco hoje e deixa a sua mensagem no chat, a gente vai entrar em contato com, com vocês quando assim for possível. Nosso muito obrigado e estamos agradecidos, cultuando junto com vocês em qualquer parte do mundo onde 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 estiver o irmão ou a irmã. Can we all stand for call to affirmation? I believe in God. We have the song first? Yes. Oh, okay. All right, yes, the opening. You know, it's too much, you know, the week was too much. Yes. All right. Yes. Uh, so the group is going to lead us today. Uh, okay. So let's ask her. Oh, that's great. Yes.
to those uh, affirmations of faith. I believe in God, the Father of my May God have an and earth, and he is the way he saw the Lord, who was with the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered the Amazon Father, was crucified, death, and death. The third day he rose from the dead. He extended into heaven, and sees him to ride in heaven. This is a time for for young people. If you feel you're young, as we all know, we're all young in God. And then if you feel you're young, uh, go and join me here at the front, please. Yes. That's great. That's great. That's just how this that's how this that's how the spirit moves me. <laughs> I can't avoid that. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you have three young people today? Lily, you want to join me? All right, my friend Lily. <laughs> How are you? Yes. Yes, you can. You want to sit with Pastor Domingo here? Can you hear me? Yes. Go down. Hi, Lily. How are you? Good? How was your week? Your week was good? What did you do? You did a, you did a lot of things? Oh, that's great. You went to uh, vacation Bible school? How did you like it? You like it? Did you make friends? Did you meet new friends? New people? So, Bluetooth device is connected uh, successfully. So, uh, today, Pastor Domingo, do you know that I'm the pastor of this church? You know that? Really? Oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you so much. I think, yeah, that's yours. You want to hold it? And, hey, that's great. Yes, so... Um, as a pastor of this church, every Sunday I preach this church. So today I'm going to preach on, on the topic of stay on track. Stay on track with your Christian life. So in life, you know, we face so many challenges and difficulties and so on. That sometime, you know, all these challenges and difficulties get us out of the track. And Jesus said, no matter which difficulties or challenge you are facing, continue on track. As he continue leading us and we continue following him. That's good. Are you going to stay on track with your Christian life? That's great. Can we pray? Do you want to say something? That's good? Yes, let us pray. <laughs> Can we hold our hands? That's great. Loving God, 
we thank you for this moment. We thank you for young people's moment, young people's message. God, as you continue teaching us your words, continue blessing us with your presence, continue showering us with your spirit as we continue growing in our spirit, in our spirituality and social wholeness. Now and forever. Amen. Thank you, Lily. I'll see you next Sunday. Are you coming next Sunday? That's great. Yes. My friend, as you know, uh, it's part of the tradition of this congregation, uh, of this church, that after a week or two weeks of vacation Bible uh, school, we have, we show a uh, uh, slide, you know, a PowerPoint slide for us to see uh, for those, especially for those who are, were not able to be here during the week and so on, so that we can uh, see uh, what um, uh, our teachers, you know, everyone that's uh, was engaged with the with the program, did to our children's and uh, and as we continue building uh, the kingdom of Christ. And then we have just a few minutes of uh, slideshows that uh, we want to share with the with the church with uh, with the congregants. Thank you, Andrew. Are we ready? Thank you. Take your time, sir.
Allah. Indeed. Uh, on behalf of this community, we want to thank all the teachers, everyone that's made possible this Vacation Bible School. And then we want to thank you. Thank you so very much. And then can you join me on clap our hands because they deserve it. <laughs> thank you very much. This is the true ministry. This is the true ministry. As we continue with our service, this is a time for announcement and uh, anyone who wants to has an announcement to share with, uh, with us, please feel free to do that. Thank you. like to read the letter that they sent to us also. He's new with this. It's hard to work with him. I gotta get my glasses on. I can't see this. Okay, this is from the Newark Historical Society, and it starts out with uh, one of our goals of the Newark Historical Society is to recognize and encourage preservation, which is the activity or process of keeping something valued, alive, intact, or free from damage or decay. If anyone notices, uh, when our tree out front, a big limb fell off and it's laying on the front lawn. So anybody who wants wood, let me know. They can have it for nothing. Um, but it goes on to say, we endeavor to enhance the understanding and appreciate the value of American history right here in our local communities. Over the last few years, our society has awarded locations and homes in Norwood that have preserved their exteriors from a much earlier time. And then it gives our website, and then it gives that for the historical society. Displays the homes and locations chosen to the recipients of our pres preservation award black. This year, our society would like to award the four churches in Norwood, um, Emmanuel Lutheran Church, June 1888, St. Stephen's Episcopal Church, 1892, St. Gabriel's Roman Catholic Church Mission, 1891. Although the outside of the buildings changed the existence of these churches from the late 19th century, the spirit, dedication, and valuable is immeasurable. We are hosting an event on Sunday, June 4th, at the historical Morton House between 2 p.m. and 5 p.m. Uh, unfortunately, we miss that. <laughs> and would like to present your award plaque to you at that time. As adult beverages will be provided, we are not permitting children to attend. If this event is not convenient, we can arrange delivery to your church. The plaque itself is not very large and can be displayed wherever you feel it is fitting spot. Congratulations, and I look forward to hearing from you on either six, uh, and then it gives the phone number. And then it's uh, Judy Anastasia, the president. And that's it. But it was Thank nice you. that they thought of it. Thank you. And I'm thinking we're lucky we have four churches in Norway, which is more than the other communities. Uh, you know, sometimes it's not about having a uh, fall of the number of church in our community, but sometimes the work that we do, it's a real impact people's life and has no hood. We think that we are not impacting people's life. We think that we are not impacting the community, but at the end of the day, believe me, we are impacting. And that's the result of good ministry. And we should be proud of ourselves, of this church. 
as we continue with the announcement, um, um, if we don't have any more announcements, this is time that we uh, send peace or uh, greeting each other with uh, with peace and feel free to uh, whatever way you feel you want to greet uh, your neighbor, the person next to you and uh, feel free to do that as God leads us. Peace be with you. 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 Peace be with you, Jen. Peace be with you, Sharon. Peace be with you, Andrew. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Thank you. <laughs> My friend, uh, this is time for joy and concern. If you have any joy, something that you feel you want to share with us as we celebrate together, uh, feel free. Also, if you have any concerns that you want to share and, and as we pray with you, uh, feel, uh, feel free also to do that. We are here to support each other. We are here to pray we feel to pray for each other as a church, as a community. Yes. We don't have Asha today. <laughs> I hope uh, uh, so. I just want to thank the Lord for all the kids that he sent us for, to Bible school. And we just need to pray for them that they will continue to grow and remember what they learned here and that they have opportunities um, to uh, be in a place where they can learn more of God's word. But we, w we were blessed by them, and I hope that the blessing that they received will spread to their families. And um, so we need to keep them all in prayer because as we learned in Bible school, then when we make a stand for Jesus, you may have the fiery darts of Satan come against you. So just pray for all those kids who came out. Thank you so much. Anyone else? Don't worry, today I'm also doing Asha's work. <laughs> yes. Yeah. She has really wanted to work here for years. So, uh, and it's really up here. Congratulations. 
Yes, uh, we, we want to thank uh, Melanie. That's, she's my boss now. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, for uh, accepting this um, opportunity, this challenge. It's really, I always say that dealing with God's work is really challenge and difficulties. And uh, we thank you for your courage, you know, to accept this mission. Thank you. Anyone else? <laughs> Anyone else? Um, it's uh, we don't have any giant concerns. Uh, let us pray, and as we uh, join um, the Lord's prayer, feel free to pray in the language that you feel more comfortable to you. As we pray, let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you. We thank you. For, gift, for the gift of life. We thank you for the health. And we thank you to witness another day in our life. God, we thank you for all the joy that was shared here. God, we don't want to be selfish with ourselves when we are happy, when we have, we feel joy in our hearts to share with you, to share with your people. And we thank you for that. God, we also thank you for all the concerns that was sharing here. Bring it to your attention because you are the God of that can provide everything. God, we have been encountering challenges and difficulties in the different life stages. But we want today to give all these concerns, all these challenges, all these difficulties to your hands as you provide solutions as you heal because it's only you that we believe it's only you that you can heal all the sickness that we are going through as we pray in Jesus name our Father, our Lord, 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 This is time for offering. Uh, usually we have our uh, offering plates or plates uh, at the back. So feel free to stand and drop whatever that's um, your heart, you know, uh, allow you to give. And uh, Giving is something from our heart. And there is nothing that is small to God as we give with our heart. Thank you.
Precious God, we thank you for this moment. God, we thank you for this time of giving to you to continue building your kingdom, to continue building this community, this church, as we continue giving to others in need. God, continue blessing us for us to be able to provide to continue building, continue engaging with your mission now and forever. Amen. We may see. Oh, yeah.
scripture reading is Mark chapter 1, verse 35 through 39, and it's on page 1553 in your pew Bible. Jesus prays in a solitary place. Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. Simon and his companions went to look for him, and when they found him, they exclaimed, everyone is looking for you. Jesus replied, let us go somewhere else to, a near, to nearby villages so that I could preach there also. That is why I've come. So he traveled throughout Galilee, preaching in their synagogues and driving out demons. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you. Could you pray with me? Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for bringing us into your secret space. God, open our hearts. Open our hearts today and lead us in understanding. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. Good morning, good morning, good morning once again. It is so great to see you all in the presence of our loving God this morning. Friends, today God is leading us as we share the sermon today of the message today on the topic of Staying on track with our Christian life. Can we say loudly? Stay on track. It's, it's not loud. <laughs> Let's do this. Only this side. The last one. Stay on track with our. Authentic Christian, and then now this side. Stay on track. If, oh. Yes. Yes. As daily prayer was one of his goals, Jesus started his day by being in conversation with God early in the morning. So he got up and left the house and went to off to a solitary place, in other, way, in other words, in a quiet place, where he could enjoy silence to have a conversation with God or with the Father through prayer. But soon after, Simon and his companions found him and let him know that everyone was looking for him. And he responded to them by saying, Let us go somewhere else, to the nearby villages, so I can preach there also. This is why I have come. This is why I have come. Friends, according to biblical scholars, the book of Mark is written as a motivational call to action and to conversations that appealed 
to common Greeks. Unlike the other three Gospels, Mark is not concerned with details, but, con- but centers on one's personal choice to act. Mark's Gospel is a narrative proclamation that Jesus is, in fact, the Messiah and the Son of God, who is death and resurrection paid the penalty for our sin and achieved victory of Satan, sin and death. He purposely described how Jesus was the Son of God by showing that Jesus lived a life free of sin. Friends, from the moment that we decided to do something different in our life, like starting a new job, you know, going to school, getting married, you know, traveling to another country, moving to a new culture, and even to boost our mind setting toward the world we are living in. It comes with so many challenges and difficulties. During the time that I served in Brazil, I had so many challenges and difficulties that you could possibly imagine. As in other countries, Brazil still deals with uh, racism, where people from black communities are still marginalized. I remember one day, my friend and I went to a shopping center. And I entered a very expensive store. And the people inside the store were looking at me with a scared face. When they realized that my friend was there with, with me, which he was white, they became very calm. There was also other forms of discrimination that I faced as an African, as many people think that Africa is a bush. With fierce lions, and that people there play with lions. (laughs) It was a hard time for me to stay on track in the face of such difficult situation. But despite all of this discrimination, I tried to stay on track because I knew that there were reasons why God brought me to that beautiful nation. Friends, how many of us in this moment are encountering or have encountered challenges and difficulties in our lives? Where we think or thought to give up several times, but God keeps inviting us to stay in good relationship with Him. Do you know why that is? It is because God has a plan for you, my friend Lily, all of you and me. Let us consider that challenge all difficulties that are part of our life that we cannot avoid that. I know that it is because it is causes pain of any degree level that pushes us to something involve ourselves in unwanted thing in our life. Those situations sometimes drives us to sin. But God is inviting us today to be wise as we are facing life difficulties. 
so that we are not engaging in sin. Rather, we need to keep on track with our faith as a Christian and be a model within and outside of our community and the world because we are the chosen children of God. Friends, in today's scripture reading, Jesus is inviting us to think about who the demons are that we meet, that we meet up within in our daily lives that are driving or causing us to sin. All around us, there are opportunities for us to sin encounters all options to sin. Even Jesus encountered temptations to sin during the period of his health ministry. In many scripture verses, the Bible tells us about Jesus' life and we know how these illustrations help us to understand how Jesus suffered as he encountered so many temptations. Personally, I went to believe, I want to believe that in all of these temptations, there were times even Jesus was encouraged or discouraged and he thought to step back from his ministry. Just as we sometimes feel like we want to give up on something. We need to remember that here at Norwood United Methodist Church, God has called each one of us to be followers of Jesus here and now. Both to members of Norwood United Methodist Church and also to the community. But as we know, Jesus continues to stay on track. So it is understandable that some humans are like those that Jesus would sometime encounter. With so many life challenges and the difficulties, which cause us sometimes to make wrong decisions in our life as we get off track with our mission as a Christians. Due to our imperfection, which deals us, which leads us to sin within ourselves and toward others. But Jesus kept his faith to the Father, and despite all he went through, was able to continue his ministry by staying on track. Friends, in life, we encounter challenges and difficulties that are not even caused by humans but by nature, like the heavy rains and flooding that we have experienced along with other natural disasters. In addition, we are faced with the loss of our loved ones, loss of jobs, lack of financial resources to go to school, sicknesses and and other things that causes us difficulties. So these and other things sometimes leaves us without room to keep our faith in God, making it difficult to continue staying on track. And sometimes we even question ourselves whether all these sufferings we go through 
at God's will. And sometimes even test us, our faith. Challenging us to stay on track. So friends, the scripture for today as God's word is inviting us to rethink about how we are caring for our life as authentic Christians. As we are dealing with all the challenges and the difficulty we have to face at times. Friends, one of the specific ways I see Jesus teaching us to care for our life as Christians amid the challenge we face. As discussed in this passage is the following. Jesus gets away to a quiet place to rest, to look inside himself and to be honest about what is happening within him. I see this as something Jesus does to manage his own limitations in the midst of the many demands on his time and the tree and the stress of his challenges. Friends, today, as we are meditating on chapter 1, verses 35 through 39, through the Gospel of Mark, God is teaching us by inviting us to stay on track with our faith, no matter the difficulties or challenge that we may encounter in our everyday life. No matter, we know that as humans, it is our nature that we have limitations toward how we see our life as a Christian. So today, the scripture reminds us why Jesus came to help us and guide us to overcome our limitations. For him, he was clear about why he came. To help us to become, to improve children of God and worth of eternal life. Friends, several times we may ask ourselves this question. Why did Jesus come? In Luke chapter 4, verses 18 through 19, and verses 43, 42 through 43, it says, The Spirit of the Lord is on me, because He has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and the recovery of sight for the blind. To set the oppressed free. To proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. At daybreak, Jesus went to a solid, solitary place. The people were looking for him. And when they came where he was, they tried to keep him from leaving them. But he said, I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God to the other town also. Because that is why I was sent. It is important to keep in mind that to preach the good news, we have to have 
experience the good news from ourselves. Sometimes we have to find times and space in our lives to be honest about who we are. What challenges we are facing. And to ask God to come into our life in a way and to help us move towards our goals. And to strengthen us in order to stay on track. Friend, as we continue sharing God's word, God's message, and as we continue embracing in so many questions and questions to improve our perceptions about the kingdom of God as the Christians, let us ask ourselves this question. How is this scripture today relevant to us and to our faith community of knowledge today? How do we apply this scripture to our own context of knowledge? And in what ways can this scripture impact the life of our community? Why is staying on track so meaningful for our understanding of faith in God? Friend, has, has a church and a community called to action? How are we responding to addressing social injustice within our community and toward the world in general? In the days ahead, these are some of the questions we need to be asking ourselves. As we face many things that pushes us away from Jesus' ministry and teachings. It is time for us to be thinking of how we live our authentic Christian life trying to stay on track with our Christian principles. Friends, please, there you are. Look to the person next to you and say, Stay on track, no matter the challenges and the difficulties. Can we say once more? Can we say once more? Stay on track, no matter the challenge and the difficulties. Friend, as we stay on track, let us not allow any disruption to get us off track and lead us to sin. But rather, let us continue on as we renew our faith in God, who continues to leading us through His kingdom. Amen.
friend, as we uh, remain to stay on track with our Christian life, let us receive the benediction. Friends, as challenges and difficulties arise in our lives and in the life of our community, do not let us allow any disruption that get us off track and that can lead us to sin. Continue nurturing our faith in God as we believe in Him and ask Him to continue leading us toward His kingdom. In Jesus' precious name. We pray. Amen. Go in peace.